hi again this is marlene potts from balloon masters in buffalo new york coming to you with a little tip about balloon stuffing take my 30 years of experience and teaching and selling of balloon stuffing machines and put it to use for you i know there's a lot of new people out there and i'm just trying to answer some of the questions i get every single day um, in one full swoop so tonight i'm going to actually talk just about cleaning your balloon and honestly what i use is just armor all STP. These are the wipes. You can use the spray. If you use the spray, I really suggest using a cloth baby diaper to clean it. It works fantastic. It soaks up a lot and it's they just really, really work well and there's no abrasion. It doesn't create any static in the balloon with those baby diapers. But either does this and these are great if you're doing a pop-up shop. You're going to a mall or something and you need to take them with you. This is easier than spraying the balloon. Also, never use any spray directly on the balloon. Always use it on a cloth and then rub it. There's also a Balloon Shine, excellent product. Will also clean your balloons, a little bit more um, costly. And then you have High Float's new High Shine, another great product, takes a little bit of practice to get to use it, leaves a little bit of residue on there, but also a great product um, to use, if, if whatever you decide. But I want to talk about cleaning and what you're going to do is you want to do this as soon like the night that you do your balloons so if you're making 10 stuffed balloons wait till the end because you're going to have silicone on your hands you don't want that to hamper your tying of balloons or anything like that and it gets like a weird feeling on it so you just really rub your balloon as much as you can and in super high temperatures this isn't going to work that great it's still going to oxidize it'll just oxidize less and then if you like you can rub the excess off again this is a chamois but i would use a cloth baby diaper okay now this is an 18 inch um, qualitex stuffing balloon neck up stuffing balloon this is a sempertex or metallic 18 inch neck up stuffing balloon i don't know if you can see the difference there once it's clean how it's not cloudy and what you're taking off of there is the powder they have to put a powder on the balloon so that they don't stick together and what you're cleaning off is the powder they don't need to be washed they don't need to be anything like that it's don't go crazy you're if you put money or lottery tickets or something, for the most part, these are gonna get popped right away. <laughs> if you put, cause they want what's inside. If you put a stuffed balloon, like, you know, teddy bear or something, it'll probably sit around for a while, but it's okay. They don't overdo it. Um, but the protection does help with oxidization, especially if you're doing them like a month out. That's what we would do for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. We would do ours about a month ahead of time. And you would need that on there so that they don't oxidize. This is my tip of the day. I hope you guys have a great night. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I try to get to everybody um, as a group or individually if I can. Have a great night. Thanks.